Hello everyone, Ari am here, and welcome back to another episode of Dinosaur Days. Today, we're talking about the Pycnomemosaurus. This video is on the shorter side because we know very, very little about this dinosaur, simply because we've found very few of its remains. This could mean it was a rare animal in its environment, or it could mean that we just had bad luck of the draw with fossilization, which is a super rare process to occur anyway. The only pieces of this dinosaur that have been found are five broken teeth, parts of seven vertebrae, part of the right hip bone, the right tibia, and the right fibula. That's it. We've got some teeth, part of a hip, and a chunk of a leg. Despite this limited information, researchers are fairly certain that this animal was an abelosaurid, like Carnotaurus. Apparently, abelosaurids have really uniquely shaped tibias and fibulas. And what do you know, by the luck of the draw, those happen to be two of the very few bones that we have of this animal. Size estimations actually put this as the biggest abelosaurid that we know of so far, around 25 feet long and 2 tons in weight. However, you can definitely call these estimates into question as they're based on the bone length ratio as if this were another abelosaurid, which again, we're only basing off of the shape of two bones. Also, with no other members of this species to compare the type specimen to, we don't know if it was an outlier. But this is one of the many issues that relies on studying fossils. They don't always form, they don't always form properly, and sometimes they're broken by the time you find them. So let's keep our fingers crossed that someone else can find new evidence of this animal so we can be more confident that it is properly placed as an abelosaurid, and the largest one nonetheless. And remember to smile. <laughs>